In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called square root addition or subtraction with three terms. And in this example, we are simplifying four square roots of 80 plus six square roots of five minus the square root of 45. And similar to how we can add two X's plus five X's and get seven X's for radicals, if we had two square roots of three plus five square roots of three, we can also add those together and get seven square roots of three. But it's important in these examples that either the variables are exactly the same or the radicals are exactly the same in order to add them. And in this example, that's not what's happening, although each one of these can be simplified. So perhaps after we simplify them, we'll have some like terms that we can add. As I start to simplify, this first piece, the square root of 80, if I recall my perfect squares, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared, 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and so on, I can rewrite this 80 as 16 times 5. And the reason I would want to do that is because the 16 is a perfect square, and I can bring it out of the radical. For the second term, there's no simplification here. The square root of 5 is just the square root of 5. However, the square root of 45, the 45 can be written as a 9 times 5, also allowing me to bring out the 9 because it is a perfect square. And since I can simplify the first and the last here, for the first, this 16 comes outside as a 4 and gets multiplied with the 4 that's already outside. The second term does not simplify. And for the third term, the 9 comes outside the radical as a 3, since the square root of 3 is 9, leaving me with the 5 inside the radical. Doing this multiplication, I now have 16 square roots of 5 plus 6 square roots of 5 minus 3 square roots of 5. And since they all have that same square root of 5, we can combine these terms since 16 plus 6 is 22 minus 3 is 19. We are left with 19 square roots of 5 as our simplified solution.